Hey guys, Christina here from The Main Objective, and I am so excited about today's video. Like, you guys have no idea. Today, I am going to silk press my natural hair. I am trying out something brand new. Design Essentials. This is their new agave and lavender blow dry and silk press collection designed specifically to blow out and silk out the hair. The collection is really focused on preventing heat damage and it does that in a couple of different ways which I'll go into in depth on the blog post that you can see linked in the description box below. But for now I'm going to start my process and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using every step of the way. Okay guys, so first things first, I go in and I pre-poo and detangle my hair using the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Conditioner. It's super moisturizing and helps release any tangles from my hair prior to shampooing. Then I go in with the Agave and Lavender Moisturizing Hair Bath, which is step one. This is the shampoo from the collection. I make sure I get my scalp really good, my hair, and then of course, I try to detangle with it as much as possible. And then I go in and shampoo a second time. This is a really important step if you're going to be doing any sort of direct heat on your hair, just because it helps get up any oil, dirt, debris, product buildup, anything that would burn against the plates of the flat iron and cause heat damage to the hair. Next up is conditioning with the Agave and Lavender Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. The instructions say to leave this conditioner on the head for one to three minutes, but you can also go under a hooded dryer with heat and allow the ingredients to better penetrate for up to 30 minutes, which is exactly what I did, just to make myself feel a little bit better about protecting my hair from heat damage. Step three is using the blow dry and styling primer. Of course, you shake it up first to activate the product and then you spray it throughout the hair. The primer works in a couple different ways. One, it helps ease the blow drying process, making it a little bit easier for your brush or your concentrator nozzle to glide through the hair. It also works by helping to improve the tensile strength of the hair, preventing breakage during styling, and also, most importantly, it helps prevent heat damage by protecting the strands and also penetrating with moisturizing ingredients to prevent the hair from drying out. Next step is the Agave and Lavender Thermal Protectant Cream. You just use a tiny bit to distribute throughout the hair and protect from heat damage before you get your flat iron. And now the moment that we've all been waiting for, getting that hair straight. I have my flat iron set to 410 degrees Fahrenheit, which I know to be a safe temperature for my hair. My hair is totally healthy. I haven't put heat on it in almost two years, and I've taken very careful steps throughout this entire process to infuse my hair with moisture and heat protection. So I know my hair is going to be okay. You should always, always, always always do what works best temperature wise and with how many passes you use what works best for your hair as you can see with each section i'm going through i'm making two passes the first pass with the iron itself the second pass using the chase method to make sure that the flat iron gets my hair straight to the very ends After the final piece is straightened, I trimmed my ends off camera and then I went ahead and wrapped my hair using my satin scarf so I could sit under my hooded dryer and let the style set. If straight hair is your goal, you can stop here and keep it moving. 
but I wanted some curl. So I grabbed the Agave and Lavender Thermal Protecting Cream, put a tiny, tiny bit throughout my hair, and then prepped for curling with my flat iron. Taking moderate sizes of hair, I take my flat iron to the mid shaft and turn it inward as I move down the hair to create the curl. And here's a tip for you. As you get to the face framing layers, if you really want to create that kind of body curl, body wave look, curl away from your face so that when it falls, it gives you that nice little, you know, on the sides. And once you're done, it's time to hit the streets and let everybody see your brand new Vixen sew-in with the invisible part and the flawless closure and the body curls. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video showing you how I got this silk press with the brand new Design Essentials Agave and Lavender collection. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section. I'll be in there checking them out. And of course, you can learn all about this collection and where to get it, ingredients and all that jazz in the description box below and on the blog post on mainobject.com. See you guys in the next one.